Hi guys. Oh, just will find you in good health. And you will be doing the, your uh, home tasks uh, that I have presented in my uh, previous lectures on the WhatsApp. Uh, basically, uh, we have discussed up to now the uh, nutrition metabolism, and we have seen some of the concepts for the uh, metabolic processes and the energy that can be derived and where the energy that can be uh, uh, used. So over the uh, period of uh, time, uh, we will be using uh, some of the contents from uh, my website. I have already told you about my website that is asifamad1.wixsite.com slash students most of the material that is uh, i have already uh, uploaded on that uh, when you go onto that website there is this courses link and among that courses 2020 courses spring 2020 courses just click on that uh, you will be guided on the course page lecture page lecture and uh, for uh, look at this page on the upper side uh, the food chemistry there are so many files that i have uploaded uh, that is uh, for the food chemistry course uh, for this semester and uh, uh, there are some animations uh, that will more clear uh, the concepts about uh, these lectures so the students are advise to see these animation videos as well that will enhance their concepts uh, so all these are all the uh, course files uh, you can see that have the course breakup and content course breakup and the contents so you can see uh, what the content that will be covered before the mid exams <coughs> similar is the case with the uh, uh, the HND 404 uh, metabolism of the nutrients uh, that is the course contents and these are the uh, PowerPoint presentations some of the uh, PDF files uh, strengthen uh, your concepts again I have uh, linked it with some of the videos metabolisms uh, different uh, related to the metabolism topics uh, so you are advised to look at these uh, videos uh, so uh, uh, remember this website asifamad1.wixsite.com slash students so uh, most of the material that is uh, that has already been uploaded on this website along with this one uh, we will be using the Google classrooms uh, you have uh, made your accounts through the invitation from my side on the uh, Google classroom uh, you can see here I have made uh, uh, three subjects accounts for three subjects ft508 food chemistry hnd 404 for evening students hnd 404 for morning student these are the nutrition type of the st uh, nutrition students and uh, up till now about 49 students that have been enrolled in the evening classes maybe 20 25 students that uh, have been left uh, i will strongly advise to those students to join CRGR, the CR and GR that can motivate those students to join these uh, groups. And same is the case with the morning class. For up till now, the 48 students uh, that has been uh, joined this uh, course. And I, I have uh, uploaded some of the material on that uh, as well. If we look at and just click, I'm just clicking on that, and uh, we can see here. Uh, uh, some of the I have posted new material metabolic about the metabolism of the uh, nutrients uh, and uh, 
the, uh, the comments, 11 comments of the students that have uh, joined. Uh, this, this is the class code for evening uh, classes. YYHOKSP. Uh, look at this one. This is the class code to join the evening class of YYHOKSP. Uh, HID for, for evening uh, classes. And uh, I have already uploaded to, uh, some of the material on that. Let's see here, metabolism of the nutrients, this one, uh, some of the files for uh, three week periods um, I have uploaded. These are the three files we will be discussing uh, in three week period. Each file contain about uh, 40, 50 or more slides. Uh, in it. Uh, the same is the case with the HND 404 morning. Uh, this is HND 404 morning. Uh, similarly, uh, the uh, student can, morning students that can be enrolled in this class HND or and the code for enrollment in this class is O six D N R two three. So uh, almost fifty students that have been already enrolled in this uh, class. Uh, remaining student, uh, I will hope they will uh, soon uh, join this class. Again, I have uploaded the material on that. Look at this one. These are the slides for three weeks period. You can see these are the slides for I just clicked on that that have 42 slides on it so uh, some of the slides we have already discussed in the previous uh, lectures so you can see here these are the slides that we will be discussing in three weeks period <coughs> so, uh, so starting with the, this one some of the concept uh, this slide that contains some of the concepts about the uh, nutrients metabolism and uh, uh, this part we have actually discussed or already in the class and uh, uh, now uh, we will be another we will be today starting with the enzymes uh, basically uh, i will be very brief about these uh, what are the enzymes these are the biological catalysts uh, made up of the uh, protein these are the complex biological uh, 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 catalyst uh, that is participating in the metabolic uh, processes. Uh, so what is the basic function for these enzymes? Uh, these speed up the rate of chemical reactions in the bodies, in the cells, uh, breaking down some of the molecules in the catabolic process. Uh, sometimes that is used for the building uh, type of the reaction that is called as anabolic process that we have discussed and uh, how they function as i told you in the previous lecture the mode of action is actually that lower the activation energy required i have told you earlier that uh, uh, the same reaction if happened uh, without the use of the enzyme in in vitro condition that will require higher activation uh, energy and that can uh, be seen from here the red line here that is the uh, for the reaction that is for the enzyme, you can see a lower activation energy is required. And for in vitro condition, the same reaction if happening in the in vitro condition that will require more energy to form the same uh, product. So this this is actually the difference in the uh, energy, the difference in the uh, energy that is required to carry out that uh, reaction. 
So uh, there are several metabolic process happening into our body. These are some of the anabolic pathways, catabolic uh, pathways uh, in human beings. Um, what are the examples for that for the anabolic pathways, protein biosynthesis, glycogenesis, gluconeogenesis, uh, fatty acid synthesis, and among the catabolic process that is uh, uh, normally uh, associated with the release of the energy glycol cells, ECA or the Krebs cycle, respiratory chains, uh, beta oxidation in case of the fatty acid uh, catabolic processes that is uh, meant for the release of the uh, energy. So uh, how that works, I have told you earlier that uh, enzyme lower the reaction activation energy for example this is the lactose uh, lactase enzyme that will be going to break down into the glucose and the lactose uh, the same reaction that can be happen in the lab in vitro condition and in the cell by uh, the enzymes so you can see enzyme that is lowering the activation uh, in our uh, uh, in our this reaction that is in vitro condition and this is with the help of the enzyme so you can see how easily that can be uh, happened into the cell. <coughs> Characteristics of uh, enzymes, enzymes are highly specific in their uh, action. For example, this lactase enzyme that will only working on to the uh, lactose substrate. So they, they, these are very specific in their action. Uh, enzyme remain chemically unchanged. That is not the part of the reactions and the enzyme that are required in very minute uh, amounts. So uh, they are very specific having the uh, active site specific. Why they are specific because of the uh, active site. Sometimes that requires the cofactor or the coenzyme as I have told you earlier in previous uh, lectures. So uh, the forming the complex and then uh, formation of the product that is the work with the substrate. Uh, induced fit theory, uh, uh, lock and key mechanism, these are very common and you are well aware of that we have discussed in some of the things that in the previous class. So reaction with the enzymes are up to 10 billion times faster than those without the enzymes. Uh, enzymes typically react between 1 and 10,000 molecules per second. Fast enzyme catalyze more uh, 500,000 molecules per second. Substrate concentration. These are the some of the factor that is affecting the enzyme <coughs> activity. These are the substrate concentration, enzyme concentration, temperature, pH. <coughs> so uh, talking about uh, these important factor, enzyme uh, concentration. If uh, there is uh, insufficient enzyme the reaction will not process. Uh, so so the, the, uh, look at this uh, uh, picture uh, that uh, is telling uh, the, how the enzyme that is behaving. So if we are increasing the enzyme concentration, we can see there is an increase in rate of reaction and after some time that become constant. If you further increase the enzyme concentration, the rate of reaction that is not going to uh, increase. How the temperature affect the enzyme activity? Every enzyme have a specific temperature range in which uh, that uh, works better. Uh, these are the two enzymes. Look at this one. For this enzyme, the temperature range is 0 to 50. This is the second enzyme. The temperature range is 40 to almost 90. And uh, there, there is an optimal temperature for each enzyme. So this enzyme that uh, will work better at about 37, 38 degrees centigrade. So, but this enzyme that will work better at almost 75 degrees Celsius. So uh, these are the uh, enzyme from the heat tolerant uh, 
uh, exterior. So, so uh, higher temperature normally that uh, cause more collision and the rate of reaction that is uh, going to uh, increase. But at uh, uh, certain temperature, because these are the protein in nature enzymes, so at certain temperature they are denatured. Other uh, uh, causes of the denatures are change in pH, heavy metal ions, alcohol, UV radiation. Uh, what is the effect of pH? Uh, again, different enzymes that are affected differently with the pH. Uh, for example, the pepsin that works better uh, up to the pH 4. And uh, you, we can see here that pH 2 is the optimum for this uh, enzyme. Uh, the amylase that have different nature that works between 4 to uh, about uh, 9 pH. Uh, but the best pH is the at the neutral so about the seven lipase enzyme that works better in the alkaline condition. So the optimum optimum condition for each enzyme that will be diff different actually. This is the optimum level. So metabolic pathways uh, uh, that are always using these enzymes for several type of the reaction. Uh, I have told you that there are several types of the metabolic pathways. For example, it is converting into P through the enzyme 1. So, so this will be the product, but it will be acting as a substrate for the second reaction for this uh, enzyme. So we can see the uh, use of several enzymes in this reaction and these reactions that are interconnected with the, uh, each other, forming the metabolic uh, pathway. pathway. Some of the metabolic pathways that are circular in nature, again, you can see here how the products are uh, generating. In this pathway, substrate A enters into the reaction after several steps. Product E is formed. So there are some regulation of the uh, enzymes uh, that we will be discussing in the uh, next lecture because uh, there is the limitation for the uh, size of the uh, presentation that I have uh, I can upload uh, maybe uh, above 65 MB it's difficult to upload for so I will close here and uh, we will cover in the next uh, video uh, from this regulation of the enzymes thank you very much